how to DJ a family party with DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin. And I'm Lee Spiegel. And, and we're going to show you how. So when you first start DJing, it's very important to get your first couple of gigs right away because this will help you get experience as a DJ DJing in front of people in crowds. If you just DJ at your home, in your bedroom, or your basement, you could, yes, you can master all the skills like scratching and beat matching and all of those cool things, but if you don't know how to read a crowd and DJ for the people that are in front of you, then you are gonna struggle a lot as a DJ. So when you first start telling people that you're a DJ, I recommend telling your family, telling your friends, and probably the first type of gig that you're gonna get is gonna be a family party. Maybe it's somebody's 50th birthday, maybe it's one of the kids' 12th birthdays, but either way, you're gonna be DJing for your friends and family. And don't think of these type of gigs as the same way you would think of DJing at the club or DJing at a wedding, because there's a couple of things that are gonna be different. First of all, if you're DJing with DJ Pro and you use streaming services like me, if you go over here to your sources, there's Tidal, Beatport, SoundCloud, BeatSource. You could DJ with millions of songs without having to download anything, and you could use these songs in playlists at the gigs. But there's one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind, and that is the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yes, so DJing with streaming service, you're going to need an internet connection. So there's a couple of ways before the gig that you can ensure that you'll have great internet, such as? Well, I would recommend you contacting the place and the restaurant to make sure that there is Wi-Fi or how the service is because you want to be prepared. Yes, or like what I do is I pay, uh, I think it's like 15 or 20 extra a month, and I have the same service that I have on my phone um, 5G on my iPad, but in some places are dead zones if the party's in like a room with not a lot of windows or in the basement or something, you might have limited service. So if the party is somewhere local, I recommend going down to where the party's gonna be and just load a couple songs and see how fast they're gonna load. This way you, sh you could be prepared when you're there to DJ because when I first started out, I had everything ready. I showed up to the event and I had no service and I wasn't able to DJ because all of my songs were on streaming service. Now, another thing is since this is a family party and you're gonna be with your family and your friends and some of these people may not have seen you for a while, maybe they live out of state or they're people that you only see a couple of times a year, so it's very important that you look at this gig differently than a more professional gig where you're DJing for people that you don't know because these people are gonna wanna spend time with you, especially uh, my wife always gets mad in the beginning. I would set up a DJ booth and I would be there DJing behind the DJ booth the whole night and this was kind of upsetting. Would you wanna add anything about that? Well, yeah, because you know we wanna spend time with the family that you haven't seen in a while and how can you if you're behind the DJ booth? Yeah, so one of the ways that DJ Pro makes this really fun and easy to do is we could utilize auto mix. So I recommend making a playlist for every specific gig. So if they tell you it's uh, Aunt Jerry's 50th birthday in two weeks, start making specific playlists for that party and make sure you only put songs that you are going to want to be played at that party. Nothing inappropriate. Maybe if grandma and grandpa are there, you don't want to be playing Cardi B or Nicki Minaj or stuff like that. So it's very easy to make these playlists. I made a lot of videos about them, but just simply you go over here to the music selection, you search in your streaming service for a song, and then when you find the song, you press one of these three dots, and then you add it to a playlist, and then you press the plus, it's a new playlist, and then Aunt Jerry's 50th birthday party. And now you could start off DJing with these songs, do a couple of DJ tricks, but then when it's time to spend time with your family, spend time to eat dinner, time to make your rounds and say hello to all these people, DJ Pro makes it very easy for us to switch into auto mix. All you have to do is press this middle button and then press this button right here. And then you select your playlist and then it's gonna use artificial intelligence to do pretty good, almost perfect DJ transitions with only the songs on your playlist so you could relax, have fun, you could dance with your friends and family, and you don't have to worry about anything coming on that might be appropriate that you might not want to listen to. 
and then DJ Pro makes it very easy to jump back in and DJ by just switching it off of auto mix. Now, another thing that I would recommend doing is bringing a, a screen, a TV, or if there's a TV at the venue, you could use HDMI cable, and then now DJ Pro has video mode. So maybe during dinner, while everyone's eating dinner, you could play a playlist of videos, and then you could have it hooked up to the screen, and then there will be music videos playing, and it'll add more entertainment and add something else to do than just you there behind the decks DJing. And also, you could, you could mirror your screen. So if you are doing some tricks that you want people to see what you're doing on the screen, they'll be able to see what you're doing on your iPad on the TV screen, which will make it a lot more fun. Now, another thing that, that I would recommend doing is adding in some DJ games and some more activities instead of just dancing. So one of them is you could do like line dances. Uh, what are your favorite line dances? <laughs> I like the Macarena, Cha Cha Slide, Cotton Eye Joe. So much. Yeah, so these you could have a playlist. For me, if you look over here in my collection, I have a playlist called Slides, and this is the Cupid Shuffle, the Electric Slides, the, the y YMCA, can't forget the YMCA. <laughs> and it's always fun, especially if the dance floor is a little slow at the moment. You could put on these. These are dances that everyone knows. Some of them are a little silly, a little stupid, but everybody has fun, and it's a great way to have a great time with your friends and family. Another thing is you could play games like you could do freeze dance. So you could say uh, every time... When the music stops, you got to freeze and stuff like that. There's various different games you could play. You could play Coke and Pepsi, and it depends on the ages of the crowd. If it's for a lot of kids, you could play more of these games. You could pass out hula hoops and pass out props. You could do red light, green light, one, two, three. It's yeah. definitely a good way to get everyone on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, and then also make sure that you have a specific playlist that's not all dance music, that's kind of more relaxing, romantic music, or whatever it's going to be that'll match the vibe of the night that you could play during dinner, during cocktail hour, and just don't go there planning to be locked behind the decks DJing the whole night because for these family events, it's going to be a little bit of a different setup and it's going to be more interactive and you're going to be spending more time with the people there. And don't take it too seriously because the, your friends and family aren't really going to care if you mess up a mix, if you play a song that's not that great. Everyone's just there to have fun, and the more fun you have, the more fun everyone else will have. And Do you want to add anything? I think that's it. Okay, so if you guys like learning about DJ Pro, learning about DJing with the iPad, learning how to make more money with DJing, and also, if you have any specific questions about anything regarding DJing with the iPad, ask me down below in the comment section, and I will try to answer every question that I know the answer to. And also, let me know in the comments if you would like Lee to be in more of my videos. Oh boy. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Okay, we're done. Bye. You kept like putting your 